The following video contains strong themes which might upset people. If you can't handle these themes, watch at your own risk. Today I'm gonna finally talk about the Pinecone drama altogether. This drama is all around on TikTok and I'm included for a huge year. I'm gonna talk about my experience with Pinecone and I hope I give you a huge reason why I'm not friends with him anymore. Before I'm gonna begin, I have to mention due to all of his accounts being banned. I have no invidience at all anymore, even on Amino. How I met Pinecone was simple. He made a video telling somebody bullied his friends and I was kind to help them out. And this is how the whole roller coaster of emotional manipulation began. Let's start with the most thing about Pinecone. He's hungry for his OCs getting ships. I think he takes them too serious. That he will date multiple girls who are ship of one of his masks. If you dare to tap separate his ships or even deny his offer for shipping your OCs with his, he will get extremely upset and starts to cry. He's also one of the people publishing himself crying, or rather his voice, which means he's looking for pity. People even accused him that he is fake crying. I believe it's real. Why you think that? I cry a lot as well. And I'm closer built to the water, especially 2020. But unless him, I keep my tears for myself and not publishing. And his crying is kinda sounds real, who knows? Anyways, the ship issues is not the only problem he has. It's friendship in general. First, he confuses friendship with relationship. He even confessed his love to me a year ago as I was starting to develop a crush on anonymous boy TT. I felt uncomfortable as Pinecone did that. Not only confuses his friendship with relationships, but he seems anything as an attack, freaks out and threatening to block you. He also makes insulting jokes. Not only he made pregnancy jokes, Sometimes he insults his friends, make fun of anything, yeah, anything, and that can get very harsh. Even though he tells it's just a joke, it might be still hurtful for his surrounding. He himself would get upset if someone did this to him. Due to his jokes and him being a sap, he is considered a mean person who gets rude over everything. Let me talk you about the most toxic relationship he had. These people were the most damaged ship he had. Baba the Floof was just an innocent young dynamask furry TikToker who had r the right to be upset at Pinecone. She, as well as him, took the relationship too serious and got really upset as she found out that she wasn't the only ship Pinecone had with all of the dinosaur masks in his possession. I noticed that and t told Pinecone right away, asking him if it's true. He had, at the other hand, told me to, to block me. He, he wanted to block me. As, he, as we got along again, and they got along again, Pinecone was doing these harsh jokes to Baba. Jokes about that he never loved her, and yeah, they end up breaking up. 
Sparkles and Disco. Sparkles and Disco was another user with one of the good dinosaur mask, Arlo mask. <laughs> okay, Sparkles and Disco was another user with one of the good dinosaur masks. They had been a ship with Pinecone, who also got bullied by him for being ugly and not beautiful. I even got the message from them. He told them to go kill themselves. Exactly! His jokes came this far, and I feel really bad for not believing that sooner. Even their friends tried to convince me what a bad person Pinecon was or is. But I didn't listen to them and blocked all of them. Yeah. Uh. Twilight. This one is Pinecone's current toxic on-off relationship. And I actually stopped caring about this. And don't even want to interact with Twilight for this reason. At one side, he calls out Pinecone for being an abuser who cheats, being an online dater and threatening her to call the police for not sending her naked belly, which can reach to asking her for nudes. When then, at the other hand, she is all over him again, wanting to be a ship, yada yada, to trolling him, I guess. This goes all around, all over again, like a carousel. And this is why I'm not even sure if she's even serious about that. Last but not least, Ruby. This is also a very toxic relationship with wh which went on and off. Ruby got joked about even accusing for her that she cheated on Pinecone. Or just breaking his heart. Pinecone even made jokes about her being bisexual or lesbian. Which, has to, which was the reason how the relationship ended. The worst thing of all, I was insulting to Ruby. Locking her after I got the message she cheated on Pinecone. Honestly, Pinecone is even bet uh, better. He isn't even better. I really feel bad for the things I said about her. Back then, as Pinecone was shooting with a nerf gun on his mask, who was a ship with Ruby, I told him it's her was who deserved that. Yes, I said exactly that and I feel really bad about it. But uh, to defend myself, I was really mad at her, trying to make, and I was trying to make Pinecone feel better. Sorry, I stuttered. I regret everything I said. Ruby, if you are seeing this video, I am really, really sorry for the things I said. Really. I hope we can get into context with each other. So, yeah. A huge question I ask myself. I believe Pinecone has some spectra of autism. I even believe he has bipolar disorder due to his mood always switching. I didn't want to ask him about this because um, he might get upset again. Another thing I have to mention is his English is still broken. If you know Pinecone, you will know exactly what I mean. <laughs> I always knew our friendship doesn't hold that long, at least not in the stage he is right now. Anyways, I didn't knew my boyfriend, anonymous boy, TT, never have seen Pinecon as a UAG member. Ultra Anti Gamers, our furry protection company, due to his things he did. Pinecon had the UAG logo as his profile picture, which my boyfriend didn't knew about, 
and he didn't appreciate it. So I told him to do that. After he had a huge mental breakdown, as always, he had, in bad news, he asked me for a bisexual flag of the UAG. After that, he drawn himself a logo under the UAG name, which means he still claimed himself to be a UAG member. Which means he didn't listen to me. He was stubborn, even for my decisions, so I quit friendship with him. It's not because he did those things, it's because I'm sick of being his servant, attacking people for no reason. I got sick of trusting someone who wouldn't even listen to their best friend. I am sick of being accused as a bully by others because of him. And I couldn't do this anymore. I couldn't back off anymore and being scared by be, for being lashed out by a 12 year old. There you have it. Will I ever forgive Pinecone? He is pretty much rude to everyone he might meet. I have no idea if he will ever settle it down with his actions. I will give him six years for him in total. Until that, I won't forgive him. He turned me into a bully just because I wanted to defend him. I was one-sided and never wanted to believe the other side of the story. If there's any fight which upsets him, he doesn't know where's the border. And this is why he made himself enemies with a lot of young furs. In his recent drama, Captain Chaos is involved too. And he would attack those people like I did in the past, just to be friends with Pinecone or just to do it for himself. But that's another for a story for another day. Pinecone is just a child who needs to learn more what it means to make friends. Due to his unknown mental disorders, I am not sure how he is doing it. How he is now? That's not how it makes friendship. I slipped away from the script. I'm sorry. He's despite being 12 years old, manipulative. And if he gets one of his ma mental breakdowns, he would say he would delete his TikTok or go kill himself. There is even someone saying Pinecone is... 30 years old, which is the only thing I won't believe. If you want to be friends with him, be aware of his actions and better think twice to get involved into his drama, which is what happened to me. He tends to cause a lot of drama. Even today, he still causes drama, including an innocent girl named Sleepy Spirits who doesn't deserve to get hate. If you are one of his friends who got attacked, comment down below what he did to you as well. And share this video with your friends. It would be lovely to get in contact with more of Pinecone's egg ships. Except of Pumpkin the Dragon Cat Uwu. My boyfriend Anonymous Boy Titi had made a two-part video about Pinecone. Comment down on his videos if you were a victim of him. We would love to hear your story. Anyways, that's it for the story. I hope you like my art. At the picture there's my scales on the standby in the middle, Ruby at the left and Disco at the right. If I collect all of Pinecone's eggships, it would be interesting to our uh, your characters here collab like this. Because it would be interesting to 
include, include all of you. I hope you liked the video and we will see us next time. Bye.